everyone. Thanks for stopping by uh, Mediumship by Picasso. Welcome. I hope you all are having a great day. I hope even with all the craziness and chaos that's going on out there that everything is uh, starting to smooth out a little bit with spikes of kooky. You know, you never know what's going to happen in your neck of the world or your you know, work world or your family world or, or whatever. But um, hang in there. This too shall pass. So uh, while you're here, if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons, that would be super, super great. Uh, I'm going to cover a couple of things that are happening in the near future. And um, I'll pull a couple of cards. Uh, I'm going to pull from my deck and I'm going to pull from the uh, John john holland uh, spirit messages deck okay <sighs> let's catch a breath let's take a breath in <sighs> and let it out let's just shake off the cobwebs it's been a minute since i've been here and sometimes it's just better that way sometimes it's better for me to uh, take a minute rather than hopping on and really having nothing to say you know um, or if I'm in a going through a thing, it's better for me to go ahead and get through that um, that chaos and then come back in and <clears throat> and then share with you um, some helpful hints or information or you know whatever. Anyway, again, it's been kind of crazy out there as as per the usual as of late. I we we had recently the full moon. Before that, we're, we've got, I don't know how to explain the astrology stuff, but kooky stuff was happening right around the 15th, and like a little before that, a little after that, and you know, it's like, yeah, it just seems like things are happening fast, but the things that you want to happen fast are happening slow. So it's, it's, it's like a, a push, pull, hurry up, wait, weird, hit the wall, don't hit the wall kind of situations happening all the time. It seems very consistent um, with regards to the wackiness. Um, while you're here, we're going to talk about a little bit about what's happening in the um, upcoming uh, first part of August. If there's an event happening with Spirit Fest, it's going to be the Spirit Fest Melbourne event. It's a holistic metaphysical and crystal uh, expo, and I'm going to have a booth there, so I hope that you'll uh, stop by. It's going to be on August 3rd and 4th, and the address is 625 East Hibiscus in Melbourne, Florida. So if you're in Central Florida, stop on over it's going to be a two-day event it's going to be a lot of fun there's going to be crystals to purchase books readings artists um just clothing all kinds of really great things i think there are like 75 booths at this event which is on the bigger side um but not so big that you can't get to everything so uh i hope you enjoy it while you're there um, if you want to get your tickets ahead of time, I highly recommend getting a two-day ticket. You'll save a little money. Uh, it is, if you go on to spiritfestusa.com, and I'll put the link um, on the page, uh, on this page, on my page, uh, so that you can just click on that and then go in and, and purchase your tickets. There'll be a, a button when you look up the uh uh, upcoming events there'll be an attendee info so you can get your tickets there um I, I know that i'm sort of jabbering along here but uh i'll make sure that look with youtube and this you can pause me and then you can start me again so you can back me up you can push me forward however you need to do to get the information but i always make sure that the link is there for spirit fest U usa so make sure that you check it out please come by and see me at my booth and you know book a short read we i only do like i think it's going to be 20 or 30 minute readings at these uh events so you know i don't normally do short reads only at these events do i do that so um i hope to see you there i hope to be a part of your healing process just a little insight into what it is exactly that i do so um i'm a medium 
And um, as most of you know, and if you don't, here's some information. All mediums are psychic, so that makes me a psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. So keep that in mind. Um, so I can connect with your loved ones on the other side, uh, or I can connect and plug into what's going on with you in your world. That's family, that's money, that's career, um, health, and you know those sort of things. I also do something called um, an intuitive body scan, so or an intuitive wellness scan, so I can pick up on what's happening with your body, um, uh, past, present, future you know, things like that um, with regards to what's happening. I do not diagnose, I am not a doctor, but spirit will make me feel what's happening in you so that you can get some validation that no, you're not exactly crazy. You are really feeling that thing in your, you know, in your back or in your leg or in your knee or whatever. Um, and um, they will give messages with connection to, you know, that organ in your body. We'll go over all the information. Uh, again, I don't diagnose, I do not prescribe, uh, but you come away with a lot of information that is super helpful, but it is entirely up to you when you get a reading on what you do with that information, whether it's the body scan or a psychic reading or a mediumship uh, message, you could take the information and not do anything at all with it. And a lot of people do that and that's okay. Um, but if you're working on growing your soul and figuring out what's going to be best for you in your future and your life and trying out new things and trying to make some movement forward, uh, I suggest, you know, really digging in and listening to messages that are coming across for you. Um, that being said, there's one other thing that I do that a lot of people are not familiar with. Um, and that is the soul chart readings based on the Michael teachings and the Michael, Michael teachings, Michael is a collective. It's a thousand and fifty souls that came together. They were channeled in back in, I think that the late seventies, early eighties by, uh, a small group of, of channels out in California. And, um, they get help gave, they gave us, mm, I have twisty words, um, they help to give us sort of an overleaf um, to help us better understand what role we chose for this lifetime, the mode that we're using to get uh, to our goal in this lifetime. Uh, they help us understand what our what would be at the root of all of our major obstacles or our, our challenges, how we learn our lessons, um, and you know, they help us better understand soul relationships and soul ages and why people act the way they act. Um, if you're dealing with somebody in your life that's got a lot of drama continually swirling in the, the muck, then you're probably dealing with maybe a mature soul. That's their focus. It's, um, it's going to be about intense emotion and relationships. Um, you know, intense joy, intense love, intense anger, intense fear, intense sadness, intense, whatever it is, it's going to be about the intensity of it. If you're dealing with somebody who is um, focused on materialistic things, that's going to be more of a young soul. An old soul is going to be focused on giving back. Um, uh, a, what do you call a baby soul will be focused more about <laughs> more on what you can do for them. So there's going to be a little bit more manipulation. They do better with um, more structure in their lives, having people do things for them. And then you have the more primitive infant souls um, who are uh, all about survival. Um, you know, your basic primal instincts and survival. It's fascinating stuff. If you don't learn it from me or get a, a soul chart reading from me, um, then I would suggest just checking out michaelteachings.com and you can start reading up on the information and you can, you can seek me out if you need more information or want a reading or you want um, a, a combination, uh, an integration of readings. Um, and you want to know what your soul relationship is with somebody so you can, you can figure out what to do with it. You know, sometimes we hit a wall with people in our lives and sometimes you're just done, you know, sometimes you're just done in a relationship and that's okay. It's okay to be done. It's okay to, to 
be okay with leaving a situation. It's a, you don't have to, this is not, how do I say this? Um, there are no set rules with how you learn your lessons. We're all different and we're all meant to learn our lessons in different ways. And we're all meant to grow in different ways. It's, it's what makes us fascinating beings, you know? Um, and I think if we really dig in and try to understand why the why we come together, uh, I think it makes it so much more valuable on the things that you do while you're together, right? So, um, more explanations on that. If you guys want to hear more about the Michael stuff, um, let me know and I'll do uh, some videos based on that. I've tried teaching classes on it and it, they're just not, it seems like everybody's really excited when they have a reading done, but you know, and they want to know about it, but nobody really digs into, you know, the class stuff. So I'll leave it, I'll leave it there. If you want to know more about it, you can either go on to michaelteachings.com or you can seek me out and I'm happy to teach or happy to do a reading. You can go on to my website, mediumshipbypicasso.com and you can book a reading um, from me on my website. And I, I think I've got some information about the Michael Teachings on there as well. So, um, all right, let's see. I want to pull some cards um, today. I'm going to pull some cards. You know what? Let me just, before I pull cards, hang on, hold that thought. Before I pull cards, I would like to say thank you to a little baby girl that was born not that long ago, like very, very recently. I want to call her Baby G. And, um, I want to say thank you to Baby G for some validation uh, and for coming through um, so strongly and so persistently uh, in a read. And um, I would like to say thank you to Baby G's mom. Uh, I respect privacy, so I'm not going to go into too much here. But it's important to for somebody like me I have not been doing this my whole entire life. I have not, I was not raised in a family where we talked about metaphysical things or paranormal stuff or any of that stuff. I mean, in our household, there was fist flying and alcohol and somebody going to jail and somebody else going to jail and more fist flying, and more alcohol and, you know, growing up crazy. Um, I got out. Uh, I was booted out, but I'm thankful because that put me in a better situation to grow in a more positive way and not to be in all the junk. So, but um, I, I take what I do very seriously. I, I still have fun. I, I love <laughs> I love making the connections, but it's so important. It, it, I don't take it lightly. So if spirit comes through um, to give a message, I... I honor that. The best thing about what I can say that Baby G did for me was validate that I heard her correctly and that I didn't, I wasn't overly cautious because when it comes to little ones, um, children or babies, born, not born, I'm always very cautious about anything because it's a it can be very emotional and I don't want to be I don't want to get something wrong I don't want somebody to ever be upset because um, they misconstrued a message that came through or maybe I said it incorrectly or whatever but I want to say thank you baby G for validating uh, the fact that I did hear you correctly and I am so proud of you for making it through um, just know that you are loved and I'm was happy to be a part of the beginning of your journey on this planet. So thank you for that. Um, one of the things that that side now, 
Um, you are always welcome to send me an email or shoot me a message, make a comment here on this station. Dang it, they're making my nose run. Hang on. You are always welcome to reach out to me with information about a reading that you got from me, um, a spirit message that you got from me, any information like that, just to say, hey, listen, thank you for that message. Thank you for the information. Uh, it was good. It was valid. And um, whatever you want to say, it's okay. Or <laughs> because of you suck, <laughs> your reading sucked. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't send me that. Just, just we'll let that one slide. If you got a, if you got a wonky reading, um, if I could tell you anything today with regards to um, what happens in a reading when you get information validated like that, is uh, honor the connectivity, honor the connection, um, and stay connected. So the last couple of weeks, I was griping at my spirit team and. Um, and look, rightfully so, things were really sideways. And, you know, we can't always see everything that's happening. I might be psychic for you, but I sure as shit ain't psychic for me. So just telling you, uh, I don't get to see everything that's happening for me so that I can learn the way that I'm supposed to learn. But things had been so wonky and it's just not okay. So so, so I get a little frisky sometimes um, when it uh, when it comes to um, you know staying connected. But it's it's important to reconnect if you need to step away. So uh, I laugh because you know it happens. It happens. It happens for me, and I know other readers that it happens for too. So anyway, we don't worry about it. We don't stay in that. Moving forward is what we do. We move forward into the goodness, into the light, into uh, what's coming next and focusing on what it is that uh, we do best, right? So I'll also say that um, it's really important to mean what you say through and through. Um, watch your words. I have to do this constantly. Um, I'm trying to change my verbiage into instead of the saying i need um spirit please help me i need uh, i have to remember my value and you need to also remember your value uh, and understand that saying uh, and changing the verbiage to i know or i respectfully receive or you know whatever the words are for you, um, make them on the positive, make them so that it's clear, concise, and you mean what you say, you know, there's nothing that drives me more crazy than people saying shit they don't mean, um, talking just to talk and saying a bunch of BS. So we don't pay much attention to that, you know, anyway, mean what you say, and try to make them good words. Try to make them words of kindness. Try to make them words of integrity and um, words that are supportive to people around you. If you are a gaslighter and a, a liar or a fool or a greedy person, Keep on walking when you come next to me. Just just don't even stop. Don't stop. I'm telling you, don't stop. Because, you know, I'm going to mean what I say. And I'm going to say what I mean. So I'm going to help show you the exit door. Kindly. Mostly. Well, maybe not always mostly. But, you know, I'll do my best. Um, but, yeah, gaslighters, keep on walking. Right? Um, all right. I think that's it for that. Uh, you know, let's just pull a couple of cards. Let's see what kind of fun things that we can listen to. This I'm pulling. Sorry, Yeti. Oh, it's not exactly the best setup, but I got a couple of things and that's my, that's my book cover. Um, if you guys are interested and you can get my book on Amazon or you can get it on my website or um, Barnes and Noble, I think you can order it. Um, Ingram Sparks. 
Um, it's called Walking the Way, and it's my story. Yes, I wrote a book. And these are my cards. I'm going to pull from my deck first. It's, I'm no angel, but I'm trying. These cards are currently sold out because it cost a gazillion dollars to get these cards printed up. But I did channel them with my master guide, and they're a lot of fun. And anyway, they're a little sassy. They're a little swassy. All right, so give us one. Sorry, Eddie, again. Sheesh. One of these days, I'm going to have a setup where the microphone is either attached to me and not in my little space. Um, I'll figure it out. I might be a gazillion years old when I come on, when I do figure it out, but that's okay. That's is that it? We'll go with that one. Oi, let's do one more. That's so funny. I pull okay. One more. <sighs> okay. So I'm just gonna pull, I pulled, it took a minute, but um, the first card, I did a pull for myself um, from a deck when I, after I did a meditation this morning, and uh, um, it's so the same as what, the one that came up uh, here. It's not the same card, but it's along the same lines. So the first card that came up is water, not wine. You need to purify that body if you want to stick around for a while. And this is a big one for me because I'm not a big fan of water. I am a big fan of wine and whiskey, but um, I need to drink more water, and I'm sure a lot of us uh, have to. I mean, I can even hear it and feel it in my voice. I'm dehydrated. So in order to purify the body, we've got to get that water moving through, kind of um, clean up all the residuals of the, the crap that we put in our body. There's a lot of crap. It's in the air. It's in our food. It's blah. It's everywhere. Um, but water is the answer to a lot of things, right? It's the answer to a lot of wellness issues. So don't forget, water, not wine. You need to purify that body if you want to stick around for a while. Um, and then the second card, respect. Have respect for yourself and the journey you've made this far because this shit ain't easy. Great respect. If you are still here and you are dealing with all the shenanigans that are going on uh, on, the, on our beautiful planet, then give yourself a, a, a little pat on the back, a little, you know, uh, bow down. Um, have some respect for yourself because sometimes it's really difficult. And especially when things are hard with, with the economy or relationships with all the astrological things that are happening. Come on. If you're still sticking around, my hat's off to you you know my hat's off to you so the second deck i want to pull from uh just quick quick i know i'm probably going over what i really wanted to do time wise so sorry about that but uh the second deck is um spirit messages this is a john holland deck i really like this deck a lot and it's the one that i pulled from this morning for myself um and i was saying that uh i pulled cleanse so it doesn't surprise me that water came up also. So I think they're trying to make a point with me. I'm going, I'm going to get my water jugs filled today. So yeah. So let's just pull a couple from here. And thank you, John Holland, for making this beautiful deck. So when you're shuffling your cards, you can do it any way that works for you. I used to shuffle them like a poker deck and then just splay them out and then just pull from that. And then I noticed that a lot of readers were shuffling this way. And then the ones that were would pop out are the ones that, um, that you need to read and or pay attention to. So I started doing it this way. Ooh. 
and sometimes they pop right up. Come on, one for the day, one for the for the weekend coming, or the week coming, one for the craziness. What do we do? There we go. See how that just popped right up there? Okay. And this card is, I'm going to pull one more, um, but this one is find your center. And if you look at the picture, the, um, the person's eyes are closed um, and or looking inward. It's seemingly to me looking inward. Um, find your center. When I think of this, I think of um, all of that energy at your solar plexus, your power center, your control center at your solar plexus. And I think about building power there and making it calm when it's upset and then projecting beautiful calm energy out. Um, and find your center. Not forgetting, actually, I, I, I got you. They're telling me to say, don't forget who you are. Don't forget to, to, to acknowledge who you are. Um, so find your center. It's almost like unburying your authentic self, remembering who you are. Um, who you are. Are you a healer? Are you the author? Are you the saint? Are you the instigator? Are you the uh, protector? Are you the uh, scholar? Or what are you? Who are you? Um, acknowledge uh, who you are. Um, find your center. Well, who are you at the, the core of your being? For me, healer comes, comes up first. How about you? When you think about who you are at your core, at your center, what comes up first for you? What's the first word that pops up? Is it protector? Is it fighter? Is it provider? Is it um, joker? What is it that comes up first for you? All right, and the second card, oh, we got both red cards, well, orange-ish. And the second card, this is really beautiful, is called self-love. Remember to take care of yourself. Remember to take care of yourself. They're saying, uh, uh, honor your authentic being. Remember the soul that you are. Remember that you're not just the physical being. And so when you're, um, when you're working on self-love, it doesn't have to be, you know, oh, I'm going to go get a manicure. That's self-love. Or it, it doesn't have to be, oh, I'm going to go buy some new clothes. That's self-love. Not so much. I mean, it can be if that's what it is that makes you happy, but I would think about your soul first and um, self-love to the soul. So I would say more of quiet moments, more of reflection, more of um, looking on that, uh, looking back and having respect for that awe-inspiring journey that you've had so far, and then looking forward and opening up to what more is coming. What more are you up for? What more uh, is your soul able to grasp onto and bring to the table? Nurture yourself in those tiny ways, in those quiet moments, in you know, sitting in your car before you set out for the day. Um, just taking a few moments of placing a hand on your heart, maybe a hand at your solar plexus, just taking a few breaths in to sort of center yourself, self-love, bringing the energy in, self-love, and 
just little bits and pieces of things like that. Those kind of things really, really help. Um, it's all about healing, healing yourself rather than, you know, fighting and grasping um, for all the ways that others can help you heal. Like try, try, try it yourself first and then, and then reach out if you still have trouble. But anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Again, um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, don't forget, I'll put that link for Spirit Fest Melbourne, um, for August 3rd and 4th. I'll put the link on here, um, so that you guys can just click on that and go get your tickets ahead of time. Um, and then if you're interested in more astrological things, I would check out, I'll put Stella's, um, link on there too. Uh, Stella Wild is, is my go-to, um, when it comes to the astrological stuff, because it's such a science to me and it's not a language that I know well. So I really have a great respect for what she brings to the table, um, Anyway, uh, that being said, that's it, guys. Just hang in there. Um, changes are happening fast and furious. Mercury retro retrograde is coming in August. But don't forget to just take care of yourself, all right? If you have to step away for a second, step away. The world can wait, you know? Piss off to those things that, that don't matter. You focus on you. Take care of you so that you, you can... Keep your balance in the in the chaos uh, that's all around us, you know. But enjoy those moments. Enjoy those quiet moments. And don't forget to reach out to me. I still have that summer special going on. If you want a 60-minute read, um, you can get it on my website. My regular readings are 90 minutes. And um, I it never fails that we use every single minute of those 90 minute sessions it seems long but it's really really not once you get going so uh there's that everybody have a great rest of your day uh hopefully i'll get to see you at spirit fest if not reach out here on my channel share it subscribe share it some more and uh i'll see you guys on the flip side peace